I met Lalo Schifrin at the North Sea Jazz Festival in The Hague and little did I know at the time just what it was going to lead to. Um, he just started a program or writing a program he called Jazz Meets the Symphony and I'd heard of things like this before putting jazz musicians with symphony and it was usually as far as I was concerned you know jazz sort of passes by the symphony in the night you know it, it never really integrated it was like you either use the symphony as a backing band for the jazz musicians or they play then you play then they play it never really did this James Morrison is um, he's a phenomenon he he um, has um, you know, blossomed, I think, in, in um, recent, well, not only recent years, I mean, he used a phenomenon 10 years ago, but I mean, he just keeps on getting better. I mean, every time he um, comes in with us in, in front of the orchestra, his, um, his range, his power, his uh, musicality and everything is just, it's just, it's, it's one heck of a package. Just the idea of being able to play with him was, was kind of foreign at first. I mean, it was something I wanted to do, but I didn't see how it was going to happen. So the fact that we've made that happen is incredibly exciting. Amber Hammond, amazing classical pianist, and I have been friends for, for some years. And we never get to play together because I don't really play classical and she doesn't play jazz. But we'd end up on the same concerts. They'd have concerts where they'd have a few different soloists, you know, those variety performances, they, they quirkily call them. And, um, and we'd admired each other's playing. So it'd be great to do something together. And I arranged a little thing we could do as a duet on some of the gigs at the end. But it wasn't really integrating us. And she said, what have we got to do to do something major, something that really says, here's what we can do and here it has it goes together, how it, how it goes together. And I said, there's only one person I know on this planet that can put those two things together and I know about it from doing Jazz Meets the Symphony. This is Jazz Soloist Meets the Classical Soloist. So we called Lalo and said, would you do it? And uh, he was, you know, immediately he gets that look on his face. You'll, you'll see the look if you see face. He gets this mad look and sort of goes, we could do that, you know, and he gets excited. This is a double concerto. Concerto, it's a work for a soloist with orchestra. Pretty simple, double concerto, two soloists. So far all ordinary, that's where the ordinariness ends. Because this is a concerto for one classical soloist and one jazz soloist with symphony orchestra. Almost never been done, never been done for piano and trumpet. So we have classical piano, and it's real classical piano, jazz trumpet, and Symphony Orchestra playing this new work. It's in three movements. Now, what is it? Is it jazz? Is it classical? It's not. It's Schifrin. The audience comes in, and wherever they were when they came in, that's not where they're going to be when they leave, because the music is going to take them somewhere. <laughs>